Hey, what's up guys, good not I'm back with another video and recently Samsung Galaxy S5, the SMG900H recently received the Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow update which was a 835 MB which had really impressed me and going that it completely changed the view completely changed the performance and overall aspects even the battery, the heating problem the camera lag, the shutter lag, it's all things are I mean fixed but except for some glitches where the smelty window is popping out it really had me going that you should definitely update it to this one there are still many pretty phones that still haven't received this uh, galaxy update yet I'm glad that we are receiving it as you can see the there's not much of a difference in set of the icons over here and the notification bar and the one main thing that I loved about it is that the recent app menu opens up so fast. I mean it's pretty quick and responsive, not like the old Samsung Galaxy which you have to wait for like three to five seconds. Why won't you love this upgrade? It actually scored better than the previous N2 benchmark score. The old score was 31,266. Let's try what it scores now. As you can see here, it actually scored better than the previous score. I mean that's just fantastic for the old users of Samsung Galaxy S5, even I am. I also use my Samsung Galaxy S5 and that was pretty impressive from Samsung. Moving on, when I firstly installed this uh, UI, the first impression was that the, all my settings were reset to default. I don't know why but it made my phone too small my multi window and air view and and all that features were closed again i just don't know why but uh, it's kind of a, like a new thing even the notification bar the multi window is glitching out it's in the loading mode but if i open that i'm unable to use from here but still i can use that i can enable it from here but not enable from the notification bar that's very much the problem with this one and the one new feature is that I can launch multi window directly from here. See these signs? These allows me to engage multi window directly from here. Only the icons are different, not even the UI. UI also the same and one more glitch that needs to be fixed if I am like over here and if I open my recent app menu it puts me back to the home screen and the read magazine takes more time to open now but it's better than previous one which was not much of a user friendly but this one is pretty good the thing is that the phone is actually better than the previous UI and it got uh, faster, better in performance in the recent app menu and even the even the app opening and closing animations is changed like this one it's close up and opens up pretty fast at least I have not other issues or anything else. In fact, the gaming performance and the very much the lag in there which was used to happen in Android Lollipop are just done. You're not anywhere now. Which, I mean, I was really impressed. 
we also have a new app called my galaxy uh, it's just uh, a app where you can buy some uh, galaxy based uh, apps and stuff like that and some bonuses i really don't understand what this is but i think it's like a coupon code get 25 and all accessories like that which i won't be using at all make sure to charge your device up to 80 percent before installing the update because it's, it took a lot, lot of time for me because it was encrypting to the android 6.0 marshmallow and fully being optimized all the apps and that and pretty cool thing the closing animations Ooh, that's pretty cool right thank you guys for watching if you like this video then make sure to click the like button if you want to see some more then make sure to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video